The recital hall at the Stafford Fine Arts Complex recently took a step back in time with Houston Baroque. HCC faculty and ensemble member Bruce Brogdon explains. I thought, well, it would be great to bring this ensemble to Houston Community College, you know, for the exposure of the group and also so that the students uh, could hear some of this music. Uh, because I know uh, several of the per performance spaces, and of course I'm on faculty, so I know the people to talk to. I've loved the music for years and years and years, and I've, I've played it for years and years and years, and this new group of folks uh, are just so exciting and so much fun to play with. Um, I really feel like you know, I'm integrating with the ensemble, with the continuo playing and so on like that. And I, I have been looking and looking for good singers in Houston who know how to do this kind of music. And so when Patrick uh, told me about Megan, uh, we got together and talked about doing some lute songs. And then since both of us are involved um, in the ensemble, um, we're playing a lot more together then. Members of the group shared the unique joys of this era of music. What early music really means is that we perform on um, period instruments, um, which are built and conceived in a different way. Um, sometimes we use different tunings. So what we're trying to do is to come up with some sort of interpretation that we believe meets um, the original, uh, comp the, the composer's original intention. Um, so what we do, what, what my goal as an early musician is, is to figure out how, for example, um, Bach would have maybe heard his music um, and there's really no way that we can ever know. Um, there's no definite answer, there's no total solution, but my goal is, as a performer is to come as close to Bach's intention and to understand Bach as fully as I can and then also um, on top of that marry Bach with myself, with my own personality, with my own soul. There's a lot of improvisation. Uh, a lot of this music uh, you're given is pure uh, music that does not have a lot of ornaments, does not have a lot of the things that you hear us playing. And we do uh, follow the text, sort of, in a way, uh, but we put our own spin on it, uh, kind of like jazz, and um, that's how yeah, I could compare it to jazz. Um, I started playing jazz and then thought, oh, early music, it's all about improvisation and, and the love of that, and just to know how to approach it. It takes a little bit of time and history um, to, to dig in and know what the composer wanted to say or uh, what was happening during that time. In a small group like this, uh, you can't hide your mistakes. Uh, it's a very small, tight-knit group, and uh, in a large orchestra you can blend and nobody will hear you wrong B-flat. But uh, uh, what I enjoy about chamber music, which is sort of a small group uh, playing like this, is that uh, you really develop kind of a tight feel as an ensemble. Uh, you know, you can look at a performer's eye right across from you and just by moving their eyebrow a certain way, you can, you can tell that they want to you know, speed up or slow down or play louder or play softer. And you don't quite get that intimate feeling uh, uh, that you do uh, in, a, in chamber music as you do with an orchestra. I love singing early music. It's intimate, uh, not only a lot of times with the ensemble, but the, with the audience. Even when we have a large audience, I feel like we can really connect. Uh, because when we're connecting with each other, the audience feels that and they connect with us too. And just like Jordan mentioned earlier, all it takes is just kind of a wiggle of an eyebrow and we can, we can kind of just feel as a group, there's this aura around us, and, we, we're, all, and we're connected with that, and so we're able to um, feed off of each other in that way. And so that makes this music very special. For more information on future Houston Baroque performances, visit their website at www.houstonbaroque.org. To learn more about fine arts events at Houston Community College, visit www.hccs.edu. For HCC Beat, I'm Stacy Hawkins.